Hello and welcome to Hardware Husky. Today I'll be showing you how to enable the XMP memory profile. Recently I've had a lot of people ask me why their memory that they've purchased is not running at the advertised speed that they paid for. And after a few questions it turns out that they've installed their components, installed the operating system and that's it. They haven't touched anything in the BIOS. So now I'm going to show you how to check the speed of your RAM in Windows. This can be done with either AMD Ryzen Master if you own an AMD CPU or CPU Z which can be used on Intel and AMD. Looking at the memory speed in both bits of software it will show you the memory clock speed which is half of the effective speed printed on the RAM. So say if you have 3600 RAM, it will show you 1800. If you had 2666, it will show you 1333, etc, etc. With my case, it's showing 1067 megahertz, which is 2133 DDR speed, which is slower than the 3600 printed on the RAM. Now I'm going to show you how to get to the bars. First click on the window key, go to the power button and hold shift and press reset so once you've done this you have to wait a few moments until it gets to this screen you click troubleshoot you click advanced options then you click uefi firmware settings once you click on it you press restart then the system will restart and you'll have to wait a few more moments and once it comes back on it will bring you into the bios now on this motherboard it's under tweakers tab but it could be under tuning tab or memory tab on your bars and on some amd motherboards it's under docp it's best to check with your manual to see where this option is or whether your chipset has this option on it as some low chipsets low and end chipsets don't have the function with this motherboard it's on extreme memory profiles xmp you select it and then you get an option of profile one or you might even get profile two on some memory sticks then you save and exit this can be sometimes done with f10 if not just go to save and exit click on it it'll ask you to confirm the changes press yes and it'll restart again what this has done is you told the motherboard to read the SPD chip on the memory stick which is the serial presence detect chip. It contains information about the RAM speed, voltage and timings and it loads it all into the BIOS and makes your motherboard run the RAM at the rated speed if it can handle it on the memory controller. Once it's booted successfully we want to check the speed you can go back into AMD Ryzen Master and check the speed. On this one the fabric clock has also changed because of the Ryzen 3000. Also you can check CPU Z and make sure the speed is correct if you're using an Intel system. That's it for this episode of how to enable XMP. I hope you found it useful. Please like, subscribe and follow and I hope I'll see you again. Paul. Oh. 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 Oh.